George Washington crossing the Delaware River. It's one of the most iconic images of our first president-to-be during the Revolutionary War. And what he did after that voyage changed the war and, of course, history. But now it seems that picture is not as accurate as first thought. Hmm. This is the painting that gave Americans their mental image of the crossing. Washington soldiers row his small boat through chunks of ice. The general stands lit by the sun. It's heroic, it's glorious, and it's wrong. This is more like it. We know Washington crossed at night in snow and rain. Artist Mort Kunstler researched the history, spoke with historians, and began sketching. Now you're beginning to see a flat boat with George Washington centered and higher up than everyone. The famous version was painted by Emanuel Loitza 75 years after the crossing. It is 21 feet wide. Loitza charged admission to see it. He gave the public what they wanted. The general most likely crossed on an existing cable-guided ferry with fold-up ramps on each end to take on horses and wagons. True to both art and history, Kunstler kept Washington heroic. I have him with one leg up on the ramp, bracing himself, and holding on to a lashed-down cannon. And then I worked on a, a, a foreground figure uh, holding a lantern. The lantern in the front lights Washington in a very dramatic way in the final painting. Kunstler used a small bronze bust to work out that lighting. All I have to do is to, to gain a, a, an underneath light from a lantern is to, to hold uh, the flashlight like that and get an angle on it. Lloyd says Washington looked like the older President Washington. Kunstler painted Washington at 44, his age that night. And then there's the ice. It's very unlikely there were chunks. Lloyd's had what we would call miniature icebergs. And uh, uh, river ice, when a river free freezes over, sheets of ice form. I studied ice. I also worked with photographs of the uh, Delaware uh, when it's iced up. That was a big challenge, actually. It was just figuring out lighting effects of the reflection on the ice from torches. Kunstler has published a shelf load of books featuring his paintings, mostly of war, always striving for accuracy. I'm an historian and an expert on 10 seconds in time. I have to paint the picture so that if uh, troops uh, are marching by a particular building, uh, the historians can write they're marching by a particular building. I have to find out what the roof was made of. Isn't that something? I mean, I love the accuracy of it. I had no idea, no ice chunks. A historic buzzkill. I'm going to call you right yeah, out on this one. I'm you sorry know? I did buzzkill everybody, didn't <laughs> no, I? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but you have to admit, though, I mean, you see Washington crossing over on a barge in the middle of the night yeah. with no big ice chunks. It's you not need the ice chunks, at least. I'm not diminishing you know. the significance of the man. I'm just saying the image is just not quite there. I know. But still, excellent job. Excellent job. <laughs>